mountains of New Guinea, the rugged inland where Stone Age man still lives. But on the banks of the Sepik River, 300 miles across the mountains from Leh, the natives are discovering that the art of their ancestors can mean money. They're carving and whittling blocks of teak, fashioning masks and figures, and with the help of Australian advisers, are seeking international markets for them. Some of these carvings have come to Sydney, bought by Miss Tapp, who travels to New Guinea and the islands once a year. The masks and carvings are made in much the same way as they were centuries ago, although the modern craftsmen have some more modern tools. The natives have formed their own association and they sell their work to tourists in New Guinea as well as exporting it to Australia and other countries. Stone Age art, primitive carvings which are helping to bring wealth to ambitious young natives from the banks of the wild Sepik River.